Here we've got solving a linear equation with several occurrences, the variable problem type 2. So of course problem type 2 is a little more challenging than problem type 1. We notice here that we've got variables in two places plus fractions. Ah! Well we've worked with fractions before. Remember we can get rid of those fractions in one step by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator. Remember how we find that? We look at all the denominators. In this case, the le least common denominator is uh, between 4, 3, and 2. We always start with the biggest one, 4, and ask ourselves, does, four, does 3 go into 4? No. So that's out. Count by 4s. 8. Does 3 go into 8? No. So 8's out. 4 more makes 12. 3 go into 12? Yes. 2 go into 12? Yes. So there's our LCD. Here in this step, we multiply everything by that least common denominator. And if we break it up into individual parts, because of course we're distributing this 12, so every single part of this whole equation gets multiplied by 12. And remember that 12 is the same thing as 12 over 1. So in the fraction parts, if we put it over 1, we can cross cancel, and we end up with no fractions right here. Now, this is where it gets a little more challenging, but it's still easy if you think about the balance beam situation. We have a, three, a 36y, and we have a um, negative 42. And over here we have a 16y minus 3. Oops, I don't know why. There we go. Now, we need to gather up. We've got variables on both sides, so we're going to have to gather those up and get them all on one side. So we need to s basically separate the variables and the constants. So I'm going to choose to put my variables over here and my constants over there. And we're going to have to do several steps. So when I decide that, I notice that this 16y is not in the right spot. It's on the right side. I want it on the left. So we have to subtract that 16y and of course keeping balance, we have to subtract it from both sides. So then that gives us 36y minus 16y, which is a 20y. And we still have the minus 42. And then over here, these go away, so we're just left with a negative 3. And that's looking already a lot better. We now have all of the variables in one spot. And this looks just like the problems we've solved before. <coughs> where we know we want to add a 42 to both sides, right? And that's what is happening right here. We end up with a 20y equals <coughs> 39 divided by 20. And there's our answer, 39 over 20. Let's look at another example. So again, we've got fractions and variables all over the place. We know how to get rid of those fractions. We need to find the LCD of 4 and 3. We can count by 4s. 3 won't go into 4. 3 won't go into 8. But it does go into 12. So therefore, we, we want to multiply everything times 12. So we can multiply the x times 12 and then the minus actually let's let's do it let's do it the right way I'll do it the long way so I show you each step we're gonna multiply by 12 times the whole thing x minus one third equals one third x minus seven fourths we want to distribute this 12 by every single piece all the way across when we do that we get a 12x and then 12 over 1 times a negative 1 third, that's cross-canceling. The 3 will go into the 12 four times. So we just end up with a negative 4. Nice, no fractions. Same thing here, 1 third of 12 is 4. So we end up with a 4x. And then 4 will go into 12 three times, times 7 is 21. And we want to make sure we track that sign properly. That's a negative 21. 
Okay, no more fractions. Now it's pretty easy to work with. I noticed that I got the largest x over here, so I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to subtract this 4x from both sides. That gives me an 8x minus 4 equals a negative 21. We want to add a 4 to both sides. That 8x is still here. Over here, we get a, seven, a negative 17. Divide by 8. And our final answer is x equals negative 17 over 8. Great. You can take notes on this. And using those notes, here's a problem you can practice. Pause this video, work out your answer, and then come back to check yourself. Okay, so here's how you should have worked it out. Finding the least common multiple of 15, we multiply everything by 15, and we should have gotten this equation right here. 45x minus 9 equals 18x minus 5. Solving that subtracting an 18x from both sides, adding a 9 to both sides, dividing by 27, our final answer, 4 over 27.